everyone, welcome to Fine Wine of the Old World. Today I'd like to talk to you about what is wine. So I hope you enjoy the video and please do drink responsibly, like me. <laughs> well, so what is wine? So, um, you probably know that wine is a fermented grape juice. You probably know that there are some chemical processes going on. And for me, wine is actually an equation. So when you consider having grapes that have sugar, so our sugar plus small microbes, which is yeast, they would turn your grape juice into this fantastic juice. <laughs> so so um, our equation is sugar, yeast, and then as an outcome, you receive alcohol and also carbon dioxide. And that means bubbles. And also while this process, it um, actually also generates a lot of heat. So yeah, so basically um, that's our chemical reaction. When it comes to the first part of our um, equation, when we consider grapes, grape itself is not just a fruit, but it's actually a magic fruit. And um, it contains pulp and skin. In pulp you have water, you have sugar, you also have the acids. And then in your skin, you get all tannins or um, aromatics. We will focus on um, trying to um, analyze the wine. So, um, but obviously grape is very connected to it and we need to know what the grape actually is and what compounds are present in, in um, grape. Before we start, I just wanted to let you know that um, we actually have um, a lot of different um, wines and you probably sometimes wonder okay but why do we have so many different wines why do we um, you know like for example if you have coke but you have to also Pepsi huh? so you also have different um, processes associated with it but when it comes to wine you also have to include your um, terroir where the grape is growing um, also you would like to um, consider the climate you would also like to consider the yeast because there are many 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 species of yeast and um, there are some particular ones that are for winemaking. Also our winemaking process and also the most important is actual grape varietal. So that's why for example you get those single varietal wines um, and that would be let's say Cabernet Sauvignon um, but also you would get the Sauvignon Blanc and then you know that those two different varieties would, would make totally different wines. So, so that's um, our basics. And now I want to ask you, so what do you think is the main compound of wine? So, I might surprise you, but it actually is water. So yes, so our wine is wet and most of it is actually water. Normally it is around 85% of water in your glass. So that's compound number one. And then we get compound number two, and it's probably favorite for some people when it makes you a little bit crazy, right? And um, when, yeah, you start um, being happy. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you, you, you can guess now. So it is alcohol. So normally you get around um i'd say 12 15 percent of alcohol and um yeah it's not only making you happy but also um it contributes to the body of the wine residual sugar is the sugar that is present after your um wine was made so after the fermentation process so when it comes to the dry wines it's normally very um, low level of residual sugar, um, I'll call it RS, and that's probably around two, three grams. So that's really tiny little bit of, of sugar. Um, then you can get the, um, let's say medium sweet or um, off dry, and that would have a little bit more sugar. And it could be either because the winemaker decided to stop to interfere the um, fermentation process, or they decided to, to finish the um, fermentation process, but afterwards add some um, unfermented grape juice, and therefore you would get some um, sweetness to it. 
Then the third one is our sweet wines and for example Sotenes from Bordeaux. That's a very 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 famous sweet wine and that would have probably around 150 grams so compare two versus 150 grams of sugar. And um, yeah I think now we got to this point when we have to talk about acidity. Acidity is very important even though it makes your mouth sometimes go like oh no it's 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 bad but then it actually protects also wine from developing defaults so and um, it also protects wine from spoilage. For example when it comes to Riesling you can um, probably keep the wine for another 30 years and um, yeah so, so that's also because of the acidity levels. You also get the glycerol and that's the odorless um, substance but um, it's actually um, a little sweet and also it adds to the body of the wine. One of my favourite compounds is actually aromatics. So this is what make um, the wine interesting and there can be um, plenty of compounds that I don't want to um, pronounce for you yet. <laughs> that are, I'll actually write it here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so those um, compounds are very interesting because they give you this um, vegetal, herbal, fruity, meaty, um, leather or, um, or mineral um, aromas of your wine. And then um, we get to um, the compounds that are der derived from the skin and that would be our phenols. So for example in my glass you can see this deep colour um, and I would say this, is, um, this means that in the skin there was a lot of um, colour, a lot of pigment. Um, in the skin. And then you have another one which is also one of my favorite but what is not, um, I think probably I could just remove water. <laughs> and the rest is uh, absolutely something that I absolutely love about wine. Yeah. Anyway, um, water is definitely also very 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 healthy, right? So yeah, so let's keep it. Um, yeah, so the second favourite is tannins and also, um, as you can see, I normally go for the red wine, um, even in the summer days, although very often that would be a rosé, <laughs> but um, yeah, I love tannins and uh, for me, wine without tannins in, is not really wine. So for me, um, yeah, very, very, very important um, content of the wine would be tannins. So um, definitely I have some tannins here and definitely they also add to the body of the wine. And um, I wonder if you know how the tannins feel like and I always um, say that there is some, something rough on your tongue but it is actually the similar um, impression to when you have the skin of the walnut. Therefore some people describe it as bitter. Um, yeah, so that's it about wine. There is um, still some small compounds like uh, magnesium, for example, um, but um, I'm not going to focus on this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new today. Um, maybe for the beginners would be good to understand um, and maybe listen to this video once, once more. But I'm sure for the people that already have um, knowledge of wine, Probably that would be a nice refresher as well to, to listen to um, the main compounds of wine. So yeah, um, I wish you a great day, a great evening and a fantastic, liquidy, alcoholic um, wine of glass. Bye!